Okay, now we're ready to talk about positions of stars on the celestial sphere. Now that we've cut the celestial sphere into different spacings, we talk about the RA and DEX system. The RA stands for right ascension and is similar to longitude on Earth. And it goes from 0 to 24 hours. So they've kind of modeled it as how we model the, the times of the day. So right here, you see here, this, uh, these, these angles here, the vertical ones, that's RA angles. There's 24 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. You can count 24 of them. That's these angles, you see here? You see the ones down here? Zero, one angle, two angle, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They go all the way to 24. So to understand and appreciate the RA a little bit, it's nice to understand and appreciate how the longitude works on Earth. So I'm going to do a quick bit of review for the longitude. Longitude on Earth, you have to sort of decide where you want to call zero longitude. So uh, whenever throughout the Middle Ages and stuff, whenever we wanted to decide the longitude, historically we called the line that goes from the North Pole of the Earth down to the South Pole, goes through Greenwich, England, that became known as zero longitude. Every 15 degrees from the green, uh, Greenwich, England, is one hour of longitude. Why? Because the whole circle has 360 degrees, and we want to make sure we, we get all 24 hours of, of the day in that. So, so 360 divided by, one, uh, by 15 degrees, 24 hours. So to understand this, let's look at this uh, figure. You see here the line that goes through zero? That's zero hour longitude. It's known as the what? Prime meridian. It starts from the North Pole and goes through, where's England? You see here England? Greenwich, England, right there, somewhere there. So every 15 degrees from that is one hour longitude. So what they did is they did slice seven and a half, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Every country that's in that space shares the same time zone. You see, so from Greenwich, England, seven and a half, seven and a half, that space. So 15 degrees takes you here. Seven and a half, seven and a half. All those guys are known as uh, one hour longitude. Then another 15, two hours, three hours, four, five, six. So if you come to uh, United States, sometimes there are countries that are, that they decided to be halfway because they're kind of right in the middle. So this one, they, three hours, 30 minutes. This is kind of funny. Zero hour, 44 minutes, you see? So it's like a portion. Three hour, 45 minutes. Three hour, 30 minutes. But most every other country or state is a whole number, you know? So the eastern time zone is how many hours from England? Eastern time zone, five. You see here, eastern? plus five. And then what central is what? Plus six. Mountain, plus seven. And then Pacific time zone, plus eight. So how many time zones are in the United States? Four, one hour, one hour, one hour, separated by one hour. So right now it's 10, 10, 12 or something, 10, 10. So uh, mountain time will be what? 11, 10, Central, 12, 10, Eastern, uh, 1, 10. And then what would England be? Uh, well, if we're plus 8, right? We're 8-hour longitude. So England is 8 hours ahead of us. So England is 6, 10 right now. You see? So if, uh, if Eastern time is 1, 10, England is five hours from Eastern, 610, okay? So basically what's happening here on Earth, your longitude, your position on the Earth, your, your, uh, horizontal, your um, horizontal positioning on the Earth, your longitude, is determining your time zone also. You see, your longitude is determining your time zone. 
In space, that's not the same. In, in space, your longitude is just your longitude. You see? So RA on the celestial sphere, you can see your RA is measured from this point. This is the vernal equinox. Okay? This is zero hour longitude. One hour, two hours, three hours, four, five, six, and then so on and so forth, like that. So RA on the celestial sphere is measured from the vernal equinox. Every 15 degrees away from vernal equinox is one hour of RA. The vernal equinox is the point where the celestial sphere crosses the celestial equator on its way up. You see, remember that was March 21. Okay, now the deck angle. The deck angle of a star is a little easier to understand than the RA. The deck angle stands for declination and is similar to latitude, up and below. Neg it goes from negative 90 to positive 90. The declination angle is measured from the celestial equator, just like latitude is measured from the Earth's equator. Okay, so that, those ones are pretty easy. You see these angles here? 10, 20, 30, 40. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Let me pull this up. 40 was here. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then it goes negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, negative 50. Remember the horizon line, negative 56, negative 60, negative 70, and negative 80, and so on. You see? Example. So on the quiz, I might ask you some questions like this. Locate the star Polaris. Tell me what its deck angle is, what its RA angle is. So you're going to have this chart available to you, in front of you. And then how would we find Polaris? Well, Polaris is the uh, north, circum north uh, celestial sphere. So it's got to be up here somewhere. You see here Polaris? Polaris. What is its deck angle? How far up is it? It's, it's as close to 90 as you can get, maybe 89.5 or something, you know. So it's not quite 90 maybe, but it's very, very close, 89.5. What's the RA angle? See, zero is this one hour of one hour. This is two hours. So what's the RA between one and two, OK? And so you're going to have uh, 1.5 hours, roughly. So I'll have choices, you know, A, B, C, D, uh, something. And then I'll say uh, the different choices, you, you choose the correct one. Okay. The deck angle of the constellation Orion. Now, what do I mean by a deck angle of Orion? Well, Orion is this constellation, this one here. And of course, it's got the arms and it's the hunter. I mean the center, kind of center of Orion. Where would it be? Well, if you look here, where is it? Zero. Right? So what's the deck angle? About zero. Why am I choosing Orion? Because I'm trying to choose an example of a constellation that's in the middle of the sky. Orion is basically in the middle of the sky. You see? So the deck angle is zero. How about its RA? OK, where would its RA be? Zero, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour. So between five and six, and that gives us five and a half. Hercules. Hercules is this constellation here. And again, by saying the Hercules constellation, I mean kind of in the middle of it. 
we're the middle of the constellation. What is the deck angle? Why am I choosing Hercules? I have a special purpose in mind. Hercules' deck angle happens to be what? Remember this line? Our zenith? Since LA is 34, and Hercules is pretty much concentrated, uh, located at 34. So Hercules is an example of a constellation that you would find by looking straight up. And then it would go like that. So its deck angle is the same as LA, 34. Okay. How about its RA? So just keep doing one hour, two hour, three hour, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 hours is the RA angle. This deck and RA angle of stars stays the same for hundreds of years. During our lifetime, they won't change. It's not going to change tomorrow morning, the next morning, the next year. It's not going to change next year. But through thousands of years, it will change. There's two reasons why they will change eventually. One, you're going to learn on Wednesday's lecture, the Earth's axis precesses. It takes 26,000 years for the Earth's axis to precess once. 26,000 years. So through those thousands and thousands of years, the RA and deck angle of the stars will change. Okay? Uh, the other reason why they will change is the sun, the Earth goes around the sun, right? Does the sun remain stationary? No. The sun goes around the center of the what? What galaxy are we in? Milky Way. So as the sun, as the Earth is going around the sun and the planets are going around the sun, the sun is not stationary. The sun is going around the center of the Milky Way. You see? So as the sun is going around the center of the Milky Way, what's going to happen? The deck and RA angle of stars are going to change. But is it going to change that fast? No. The sun takes 200 million years to go around the Milky Way. 200 million years. So it's not going to happen that fast. You know, eventually they will change. Okay, let's practice one together. Let's say it was the quiz and I told you, what's the deck and RA angle of Alphard? So locate that star. It might take you a little bit if you have the sheet located. And then while you're locating it, I'm also going to be going online here. And I'm going to Google it. See, now that's become, that word has become a verb. You know? In the future, the dictionaries, you will look up the word Google, and they will say either a noun or a verb. You know how the dictionaries give you option? Noun is going to be noun form, just Google, you know, website. Verb form, to Google it means to, you know, find out information about something. So it's literally a verb, L fard, L fard star. You can go to Wikipedia as your starting point. <coughs> One of the things, we don't have to read the whole paragraph. One of the things you can do is you can look here, and it will give you some of the crucial information about that star. What constellation is that star in? What's the right ascension of the star? What's the declination? What's the apparent magnitude? Spectral type, BV color index, UB, radial velocity, proper motion, parallax, distance. Remember I talked about the parallax angle of a star in lecture one? Parallax, distance. Okay, we can make this a little bigger. Mass, radius, luminosity. Are we going to learn these things in the lecture in this semester? Yeah, you're going to learn mass, luminosity, radius. You're going to be learning a lot of those things. Okay, so let's go to. If you did it right, you should get the same answer that this guy is giving us. Right ascension, nine hours twenty-seven minutes. So what did you get for your right ascension? 
Okay, let's look over here in the chart. Where was Alphard? Right here. What's right ascension? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9.5, okay? But you can kind of tell it's a little closer to the 9 than to the halfway, right? So look here. 9 hours, 27 arc minutes. Remember what did I teach you? Lecture 1. Always keep remembering the previous lectures. Every, every angle is divided into what? 60 equal parts called an arc minute, right? 27, 27 arc minutes is like saying what? 27 minutes. 27 minutes is like half an hour, right? So it's like saying half of a degree. So this is another way of saying 9 hours, 9 and a half hours. Is that what you got? Nine and a half. Perfect. Okay, what is its deck angle? Negative eight degrees, 39 arc minutes, right? So it's kind of like saying negative eight and 40 mi arc minutes, you see? Negative eight. So how would we know that here? You go down, this is negative 10, you see? Negative 10. Negative 10, negative 20, negative 30. So you can kind of tell it's not quite negative 10. So it's going to be eight and something, you know. So on the quiz, of course, I'm not going to, from the chart, you won't know that it's 39 arc minutes. And I'm not, I'm not going to make that detailed. I'm going to make the choices kind of obvious. So here's what I want you to do between, uh, you know, next couple days. Just choose some random stars here. Choose random stars. Practicing doing their RA and deck angle. Then Google it. And then you can check your answers. You can check any, any of them that you want. You should be able to Google it and then check it and see if you're getting right. OK? They're in hours. Deck angles are in degrees. OK? So study for the quiz le on lecture one Wednesday. That's the first thing we'll do. And then we'll continue lecture two. OK? See you guys.